There are two ways to present what's on your Promethean panel to your class. This video will demonstrate how to project the whiteboard and annotation features in Promethean on a Google Meet so that both in-person and remote students can see those Promethean features at the same time. The other way to present to both in-person and remote students is to use your Promethean like a computer. So if you're presenting a Google Slide Deck, Nearpod, Pear Deck, um, and that's linked in the description below. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get on Google Meet on your Promethean board. So you're gonna open up the center console and you're going to click on Locker, which opens up all of your apps. Right. And so I'm gonna scroll through until I find Google Meet. I know I have it in my third page there, so I'm gonna open up Google Meet. And this, in essence, becomes like a giant phone. Right. And on the right side of the screen, there is a button that says meeting code. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to enter the meeting code for the Google Meet that I want to join. Um, in this case, I'm going to join my third period Google Classroom Google Meet in, from the banner and have each of the codes, the join codes for them, written down here. I'll show you how to find that at the end of the video. Okay. So, let's enter the code. All right, so I've just entered the code. Now I could either click join meeting up here or join meeting down here. All right. Okay, now here I am in my Google Meet. So what my students see is not this cuz nobody's presenting right now if you notice this looks a little bit different than on the computer there's no uh, bar at the bottom that says present now on your Promethean it's up in the top corner and so I'm gonna click on the three dots in the top corner and I get a bunch of options one of those options is to present the screen so I'm going to click present screen, whoops, yep, and hit start present screen, ask me a few questions, and I'm, yeah, just start now. And now I'm presenting this to the class, and so what my class sees is this very screen, right? But what I want to do is use the whiteboard, so I'm going to click on the center console again, and I'm going to click whiteboard. And in my Google Meet, my, this is what is being presented right now. Okay, so uh, a couple of uh, tips and tricks here. Um, I tried turning on the controls so that the host has to let people in, right? And if you noticed, there was no, I didn't get put in a waiting room or anything because I am the host, but I'm logged in two places. It doesn't matter. I can just jump right into the meet. I also enabled the control that um, doesn't allow participants to share their screen to see if that was going to be a problem. Um, because I'm the host, I can still present my screen even if it's not on the hosting computer. So um, there you go. That's that's all there is to it. If I want to get back to the Google Meet, I can get back to the uh, center console. I can hit, simply hit back right here, and I'm back in the Google Meet. And if I want to stop presenting, I can stop presenting and tap on the screen. And <laughs> here's the hang up button. So now I'm going to hang up. So this is where you get the Google Meet join code for your Google Classroom. So I'm going to go into the classroom, um, my demo classroom here. And uh, the last little bit after the um, it, in the URL, that's, that's essentially the code. So um, if you want to see it a little bigger, I'm going to click on it. Um, so right before you join the class, there's this code right here. And that is the code that you use to join your Google Meet from your Promethean board.
Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, but are, are you using it in different ways? Let me know in the comments below or email me and uh, love to see how you're using your Promethean panel in a blended hybrid model. Thanks a lot.